very, very scary moment uh, for him alongside Kenny Gonzalez, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Richard Sherman. Uh, Choi Tonga by law left on a stretcher. Uh, Kelly Hartung reporting that he did, in fact, have sustained head and neck injuries. He was taken to the University of Cincinnati Hospital. Great news. The Miami Dolphins telling us and confirming that he has all movement of his extremities. So, Tony, given everything that we saw last week and now this week, a really tough sight to see. Absolutely. And, and we're learning that in real time, by the way. I, I'm so happy to hear that he's able to move his arms and his legs because, I mean, you got, when stuff like that happens, the, the family, mom is watching, dad's watching, wife is watching. It just takes the air out of the stadium. I give a lot of credit to the Cincinnati Bengal uh, crowd. Yeah, chant to it, to it, to it, get up. But it's just, it's, it's a part of the game. It's, it's unfortunate. Uh, I've never seen anything like that, the way, the way the hands went. But at the same time, prayers are going up. And, uh, and best wishes for his health and, 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 you know, and his family as well. Yeah, and that, you know, we've all played a lot of football. That's one of the toughest scenes I think I've ever seen. No you know, for him as a brother, getting to spend a few hours with him last night, as happy as I've ever seen him, to see him do that, get knocked out, go live, whatever it was, and you could just feel it, not just with the fans, but both teams. That was a scary scene, and, you know, as a as a player, you've got to move on, you got to play the game as an announcer, Analyst, I'm having a tough time right now. No, it makes you emotional. It makes you emotional. Yeah, and we played the game for a long time. And you know how hard it is on your family, on your friends, and all the people watching. Your, your, your parents sitting there at the game, cheering their son on, wishing him to do great. And you see that. It's just devastation. And I think it just brings us back to a sense of the present, of the reality, of the reality of the violence of this game. And I, and I hope it gives people perspective. You know, these players are out here giving their all, you know, whether they're playing good, whether they're playing bad, to cheer for your team, to cheering against them. These are human beings, and they have families, and they have futures, and, they have, and they're putting it all out on the line to entertain people. And it's just, you hate to see those things. I'm really excited and happy to hear that he's moving all his extremities. I've, I, I, I've, I've been on the field three times with players who got career-ending injuries, and it, it, it just changes the whole dynamic of the game. It changes, it, it sticks in your mind. Like, like it sticks in every player's mind, and every player plays with a, with, with a different sense. You know, you don't, you don't have those crazy collisions that you used to having in a ball game. People play kind of, kind of, kind of take a, take a bit off. Well, and, and credit to Teddy Bridgewater too, with all the emotion out there for him to come lead a touchdown drive. I mean, you know, Teddy's with him every single day in that room. Yep. I know his heart was feeling for him, but as professionals, unfortunately, the show must go on. They go out there, and Teddy does a great job for this football team. How do you do that? Go into the locker room, and then know that you still have a second half of football. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. What's going on in that Miami locker room right now? I'm sure the first thing coach is probably talking to the players about it. They want to get information. They want to know about their brother. How is he doing? Is he going to be okay? And then you got to wrap your head around, we got to go back out there and play another half. And honestly, it's it's not like a win-win for the get, but let's, let's go out there and, and let's win this game. And let, let's, let's do it. Let's the do energy it you come back with that kind of, it, it, it's, it's a different kind of energy I would expect to come out with, you know, especially knowing that he's moving all into extremities. He is your brother. And that's the part of the connection that, that is built over this game. They're going to come out with a sense of urgency. You saw the way Teddy played, you know, coming back from the half. These guys are, are hungry and ready to go. It's a, it's a sigh of relief in some respects to know that it isn't, at least for now, yeah. as serious as we assumed it would be, but it, it, can, it can really motivate it to and, it. and it tests the strength of this football team. It's going to test the leadership. All those guys with the C patches on their chest, they're going to have to get everybody to move forward and focus on getting a win in this game, and that's the responsibility of having that C on the chest, and Miami's got some good ones. And, of course, all that matters is the Dolphins reporting that he has movement of all of his extremities, which is great news. He right now is being tended to at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. We continue to keep you updated. More from the Mercedes-Benz Halftime Show after this.